In the part two fidget spinner video, I showed how you could create a basic uh, dual bar spinner and you could make it more unique and customize it by using three cylinder holes. And we're going to do the same thing here to see how to make a Batman style spinner of the Batman logo. So to do this, you'll need to create the three rings using cylinders and then cylinders for the holes with the proper dimensions. And then we're going to ungroup those to expose the holes and we'll actually delete the outside parts. Okay. So now we have just the holes left, which I'm going to create as a group because what that will do is it will prevent them from moving around and shifting location and will also make it easier for us to align it with other shapes if we need to, to make sure we keep things balanced. Now if we're looking at this logo, you'll see it's basically just an oval on the outside with other ovals cut out of it for the most part. It's like bites have been taken out of this oval. So we're going to use the cylinder to create an oval. And since it's Batman, I think I'll make it black. And we want to increase the number of sides. Otherwise, it'll be more of a polygon shape. Now, you need to make sure that it's wide enough and big enough to surround those holes that you created in the first place. I'm going to make the height 7 right away so that we can see the holes very easily that we're working with. Now, my width I'll make 80 should be wide enough since it's 22 for each hole plus a little bit more space. And I'll make... Uh, the height 45 there. Now it can be hard to line these up properly unless you use the align tool. So a fast way to align things up is to use the align tool, but you have to make sure these three holes are grouped or it's going to overlap them. So the align tool will let me center this this way and that way, and it's now completely centered with the holes in the middle. Now the basic way to create that logo is to create other holes, but before we do that, it's a mirror image. So an easy way to do this can be to cut this oval in half first and then only work on one half and do a flip and mirror image it. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to cut this oval in half, starting with a box at the very edge here of my shape. And again, you can do an align tool if you need to to make sure it's at the very edge. You align and then see how it's gray. That means it's already at the very edge. I'm going to make this box 40 because that's half of the 80 that, that my oval was. And then I'm going to have it cover, it can even overlap the edges up here. Okay. Now we're going to select these two things, group them to cut that oval in half. By doing that, I can now create a mirror image easily. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start looking at this only one half of the Batman logo, which I need the ear cut out, top wing, and then two notches out for the bottom wing. I'm also going to move this down just a little bit because it looks like the bottom sticks out a little more than the top does in the way that it's balanced. So I just moved that oval down just slightly. Now I'm going to use my cylinder and we can change the size of these cylinders. And keep in mind they can overlap and stick out the top. You just don't want it to be um, sticking out too far out the bottom if you do this. Because if you make it too far down, if it's too low, it won't cut the hole all the way through. We'll drag another cylinder out for the wing. And it's more of an oval shape, so we'll go ahead and rotate that. We need to make sure that it makes a point for the ear up here, like that. Maybe I need to rotate a little bit more. If you rotate from the inside, it's going to be huge notches, but if you go on the outside, you can do more precise angles. There we go. So that'll create the ear and the top wing. And then we can do the same on the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and duplicate this for right now. Command D. I'll drag it down, but we need to flip it to the other side. Okay, so that'll make the tail there and we can go ahead and duplicate it again and then move that one out and this one will be angled in a little bit further. If you look at the notches here, we got a steeper angle there than we do for that oval there. And looking pretty good. Let's take a look at how that looks when we combine it all together. I would take these whole shapes I just made, all four of them, I'm holding on shift to select them, and the black solid shape. And then I'm going to group those together and you should see half of the Batman logo. Now if you want these to be a little bit smoother, one thing I forgot to do is to change the number of sides for those holes. So if you wanted that, those cutouts to be a little bit smoother, you just have to make sure that with these holes you change the number of sides first before you combine them all together. Okay, so I up the sides to the maximum to make sure that they are going to be very smooth. 
But make sure you don't have your middle hole selected when you do this because what we're going to do is we're going to just make the body and then we're going to duplicate it and flip it and then move it over to the other side. The final step is simply to select all of your objects here including the holes, group it all together and now you have a dual bar fidget spinner with room for three bearings inside a center spinner bearing and two outside weighted bearings.